now I've got my human heart, I want to make a nice stand for it. So I'm just going to move my human heart out of the way for a second, and then well, a stand could be any shape and size, however you want. You've just got to make a nice flat base for it, otherwise my human heart's going to wobble over. If you look at the model I've been using as a reference model, it's got a nice flat circular base with a rod going straight in the middle. You could have it like that, or you can make anything cool. It's free D printing, so I could make it a really cool one. You could just go and use any of your favorite shapes. Always one of my favorites. It's as simple as a cylinder. You could have as simple as a cylinder. I could extend it and turn it into more of an oval shape. There we go, and I could make it nice and thin. Let's take it right down to five. So that could be my base plate, and then what I've been using lots of. Well, we've been using lots of bent pipes, haven't we? So let's just go and grab a bent pipe. Here's my bent pipe. And if I spin it right, hold shift, bring it around to 90 that direction, and then let's spin it around this direction, 90 that direction. Align them both together, so I've got them in the middle. There we go. Obviously, I need to bring that up to zero. Click on that, zero, so it's on the plane, and then bring it down. Hold shift, so it's on the, stays on the same plane, so I don't need to align it again. There we go, that's looking cool. Here's my stand. Uh, I've got my leading length, it's 20. Let's bring that up a bit. Let's make that 40. How would that do? Would that bring it up too high? Well, first off, it shoot itself downwards. I don't want that. Let's bring that back up to zero. There we go. It's kind of looking like a stand. I don't want to lead in length, uh, lead out length that length, so I just don't want it. Say, so take it down to 10. Here we go. That's looking pretty cool. I don't want it to be that thick, though, do I? I want it to be quite dainty, so let's take the outer pipe width down to 10. It'll be nice and strong, printed in 3D plastic. Here we go, that's looking pretty cool for a stand. It's misaligned itself, so just select them both again, align them again, keep everything nice and in a line, and then let's get the wall fitness. Let's bring that right up. So it's a nice solid, I don't want a pipe there. There you go, it's a nice solid stand. Group them together. And then what color, color would I like my grouping to be? Let's have a nice white stand. There we go. Nice white stand. Stand out against the red of a heart. Pick up my heart. And put it on. Obviously when I come to printing these, it will be two separate prints. I can join it. But there you go. I've got a nice stand for my three-dimensional heart. Like I say, you can build any stand you want. It's, the ideas are up to you. I just thought I'd show you a way I particularly like, but please come up with your own idea, your own shapes, and your own designs. Don't just follow me to the letter.